Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here on my channel, then welcome back. Here we are again with yet another chatty video. I don't know why, but you guys seem to really enjoy the chatty videos that I make, so here we are again. I have another tag video. This one is the Get To Know Me New YouTuber tag. Now, I know I've been on YouTube now for a bit of a minute, but there have been a whole lot of new subscribers joining the Geek Eye family. So I thought now that I have a little bit of a following, now would be a really good time to film this Get To Know Me YouTuber tag video. So if you wanna know a little bit more about me, then just keep on watching. Question number one, what is your name and the name of your channel? My name is Judy and the name of my channel is Life as Gigai. Gigai is a Filipino slang word for a chick who loves makeup, beauty, and fashion, so I thought it would be quite appropriate to name my channel that. If you are a person who loves makeup, beauty, and fashion, then you're a Gigai. And that is why I have named our family here the Gigai family. If you're wondering, what is this word Gigai? What is it? What does it mean? If you love makeup, beauty, and fashion, and looking pretty, and makeup, and all that sort of thing, then you're a geek eye. Oh, question number two is, what does the name of your channel mean? I just explained that in question number one. Oops. So, I'm getting ahead of myself. Question number three, where are you from? I am Australian. I was born and raised here in Australia, but generally, I've figured out that when people say, where are you from? They mean to say, where are your parents from? My parents are both from the Philippines. Mom and dad were both born, raised, and married in the Philippines. And when my eldest sister was two months old, they moved here to Australia, which is about 32 years ago now. So myself and my six siblings were all born and raised here in Australia. I'm Australian through and through, even though I know I don't look and sound like it. Question number four, why did you start a YouTube channel? Now, the reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel was plain and simple for me. I wanted to create something for myself that I could do from home as a job when the time came when I need to be a full-time stay-at-home mom. Working towards having a family has always been the biggest goal and life plan that I've had in my life. So for me starting a YouTube channel, while I do enjoy the process, I enjoy filming, I enjoy uploading and all of that, I did want to create something that I enjoy doing that I could do from home as a job when the time came that I needed to stay at home. Question number five, what will or what is your channel about? I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. That is exactly what my channel is about. What do you hope to achieve with your channel? Well, as I say in the beginning of every video, my aim with my videos is to be able to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. Any questions, if you have any video requests, if you have anything that you want to see that you think I would be able to explain well to you, that I can be of service to you in that way, then let me know. I'm always listening to you guys' feedback and requests. Question number eight, top three favorite YouTube channels. Ooh, top three favorites. Tati Westbrook, Raw Beauty Christie, and Kathleen Lights. Those are my three favorite YouTube channels. They inspire me so, so much. Who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Well, first of all, Kathleen Lights was the very first YouTuber that I ever started watching. And ever since I started watching her videos, I remember she said in a video, if I can do it, you can do it too. I remember Raw Beauty Christy saying in a video, if I can do it, then you can do it too. But following them throughout the years, you realize they're just normal people like me. I decided, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it too. But the YouTuber that actually pushed me and made me take the step forward and be like, Right, I'm going to do this YouTube thing and I'm going to make it work, was Jordan Cheyenne. She's a single, business-minded mom. She's got one little boy and she raises him by herself. And she's created a business for herself using YouTube and her marketing skills. Everything that she says on her channel is inspirational and encouraging. And I'll try and find the video that I was watching when I decided that I was going to do YouTube and I was going to make it work. I was going to be consistent. I'll try and find that video and list it in the description box down below because it really, really encouraged me to start my YouTube channel. Question number 10. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? I would really want to collab with Tati Westbrook. And not because she'd give me the exposure that my channel really needs right now, no. 
The reason why I want to collab with Tati Westbrook would be because she is so amazing. I feel like I have so much to learn from her. Not just collab in the way of do a video together. I really want to get to know her. I want to know what her business sense is. I want to know how she runs her channel. She is a one woman channel. Well, I don't think she has a team behind the camera. I think she might have someone editing her videos for her. She has run her business and her channel exactly the way she wants. She doesn't do sponsored videos or anything like that. While I'm not opposed to sponsored videos, if something came up and it was right for me, I would probably do it. But I want to know how Tati Westbrook works because she is so beautiful and so sweet and so successful that she inspires me a lot. So yeah, she is one person that I would love to do a collab with. Three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. Well, this might be a question that I could put to you guys. If you've subscribed to my channel, I wanna know what made you subscribe to my channel? You don't even have to give me three reasons. What's one reason why you subscribe to my channel? Well, for me, three reasons why I think anyone should subscribe to my channel is because one, I think I have a lot to offer. I know a bit about makeup, Number two, I don't think that my videos are terrible. I know I have a long ways to go. There is always room for improvement. There is always room to learn something new. But I work so hard on my videos and I don't think my videos are terrible. And I feel like my content would really help someone out there with the information that I give in my videos. Reason number three is because if you want to subscribe, that's a good enough reason. If you want to, then do it. If you don't want to, that's fine. Question number 12. Which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like? Probably Kathleen Lights. She always says in her videos that she's very old school in the way that she runs her channel. She's very old school in the videos that she does, like tutorials, first impressions, tag videos, chatty videos. Like that's my type of style of video. I'm not into the full big production. I mean, obviously I can't afford to do that right now and I don't even have a team. It's literally just me. Even Kathleen Lights at, I think it's, 5 million subscribers that she's at right now, she's still the same right now as she was when I first started watching her in 2013. So you know that she keeps it real on her channel and that's what I want to be. I want to be honest, keep it real, I don't want to do things that are not me. Yeah, Kathleen Lights is probably the channel that I want to be most like. Question number 13, what is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? I have found the nicest people on YouTube. I don't even know how people have discovered me. Maybe my videos are coming up as suggested videos or maybe people have seen me because I do comment on other people's videos as well. But I have met the nicest people. I mean, sure you get some comments where people have called me an idiot and people have called me the nastiest things and I'm like, bitch, you don't know me. But yeah, the nicest thing about the YouTube community is that there are some really, really nice people out there. They are so encouraging, they are so lovely, and they leave the nicest comments on my videos. Number 14, what is your least favorite thing about the YouTube community? Well, like I just mentioned before, there are some really nasty people out there. They call you an idiot, they call you a dumbass, they call you some terrible, terrible names. And some people are really, really nasty. There are some people who just like, completely miss the point of a comment that you might have or misconstrue your words. Yeah, there's some really nasty people out there, but you know, at the same time, I don't feel like I need to defend myself because these people don't know me. They don't really matter to me. And generally when people are saying nasty things about you, it's generally because they are unhappy about something else in their own life. I am happy with myself. I'm content with myself and I'm not so insecure that I feel like I need to defend myself to these people out there that say nasty things because at the end of the day it's not that deep it really doesn't matter I have been through so much pain and bullshit and heartbreak in my life that these comments really they might sting a little bit when I initially read them but they really at the end of the day they really don't bother me question number 15 what do you think you could bring to the YouTube community that isn't already there well, everything under the sun on YouTube has been done, has been filmed, has been recorded, has been said. So the only thing that I can bring to the YouTube community that isn't already there is myself. I know I'll find people that will enjoy watching my content. I might be someone's cup of tea, I might not be someone else's cup of tea, and that's okay. I mean, YouTube is so big that even a thousand people, like, it's a lot, but on YouTube, that's tiny, that's minuscule, that's like basically non-existent. YouTube is so big that you will find people that you resonate with, and that's what I really love about this community, is that you can be yourself and you you will still find people that will resonate with you. Just being myself and being honest about my thoughts and opinions and the content that I bring to you guys is the best thing that I can bring to you that isn't already online because I am an individual. 
Question number 16, what are three things we should know about you? Well, there are a lot of things about me that you don't need to know. <laughs> what are three things you should know about me? One, I am a very, very hardworking person. I have a full-time job. I take a lot of pride in what I do as my real-life day job career. The second thing is that I also work very, very hard on my YouTube channel. I film when I can, I edit in all my spare time. And the third thing you should know about me is that I am an extremely thrifty person. I save money like there is no tomorrow. I have been working so hard all my life and everything that I own and everything that I have is because I have worked so hard for. No one handed anything to me ever. Everything that I have and am is because I worked for it and I earned it. So the common thread in those three things is that I work really hard and how I get to where I am, like I'm not big on YouTube right now, but I feel like my life itself is what I've made it to be because I work really hard. Does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. But anyway, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Question number 17. What do you think will be the hardest thing about becoming a YouTuber? I think the hardest thing about becoming a YouTuber is being able to manage my time. There will be times where I don't feel like filming. There will also be times where I don't feel like editing or doing research or times will come when I won't be able to afford to buy a new product that I really, really want to talk about on my channel. And so being able to manage my time and money is probably the hardest thing that I will have to learn how to manage in becoming a YouTuber. I have been able to manage so far because I guess I'm just a really organized person. <laughs> but as my channel grows, I know that it'll be a little bit more difficult to manage. But that's something that I'm just going to have to learn as I grow. Question number 18, what do you think the most rewarding thing will be? I think when the time comes that I will be able to do my YouTube channel as a full-time gig, then that will be the most rewarding thing for me because I enjoy doing it, I can run it exactly how I want and if I run it right and if I run it smart then I'll be able to do it as a full-time job and once I'm able to do that, that will be so incredibly rewarding for me and not only that, if I'm able to do that, it'll be because I've been able to cultivate a following and a loyal subscribership and people who actually really enjoy my content and that in itself is a full reward and that's, that would be mind-blowingly amazing for me. Question number 19, do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? Well, I think I may have already answered that question in a very roundabout way. I have mentioned YouTube being a full-time job for me as one of my goals. So yes, I do see myself being on YouTube for a long time. I believe I've got what it takes because I work hard. And from what I've seen on YouTube from the very kind people that follow me and give me feedback on my channel, I feel like I've got what it takes to be able to make it on YouTube. That might be a very completely different story in 10 years time but for now I've got the motivation and the inspiration to do my absolute best and give it my 100% to try and make it here on YouTube. Question number 20, do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? Well yes, absolutely. I know it sounds cliche but if you're starting a YouTube channel then just be yourself. Of course editing and practicing the way you speak will definitely come to play in being watchable and relatable to other people. Be patient, it's not going to be easy starting out. It's going to be so much hard work and I feel like even as you grow bigger it's going to be a lot of hard work but in a different way. Work hard, be patient, just keep putting out videos, keep putting out videos. Even if you feel like you just get like a few views per video and you put so much hard work into it and no one watches it, just keep putting out videos. The first hundred videos is the hard work that you put in for yourself. You're practicing your filming skills, your editing skills, your uploading skills. Also, if you're really serious about making it on YouTube, I would really encourage you to do your research about how to get your video discovered. There are so many resources out there for you that will enable you to be educated in the way that you research, film, edit, and upload your videos. If you're serious about making it on YouTube, then I would really advise you to do your research about all of that sort of thing. Tagging, SEO, discoverability, watch time, playlists, all of that is very very important when you're starting out in your YouTube channel and also just be yourself be honest and open with your subscribers and the people that follow you be honest and open with your opinions on YouTube just be yourself if you're crazy and out there like me like then just 
go for it. When I first started my, actually started my YouTube channel two years ago, and I was so concerned with being perfect and having my makeup all perfect, which, you know, two years ago it wasn't, and it still isn't. I still have a long way to go. But I was concerned with the background being absolutely perfect. And while that is still important, I find in my videos today, I'm not so overly concerned with my background having candles and fairy lights and no, I'm freaking sitting on my bed with my pillow behind me and no pants on. Like, I don't have to be perfect. Just gotta be myself. Keep it real, you know? Keep it 100% real here on my channel. Be honest, be open, share about your life. People like to watch people who are relatable and not so perfect on camera that they're like, oh. I could never do this, you know? I could, I could never, I could never attain that. Honestly, anyone can do it. <laughs> like I said before, if I can do it, you can do it too. You just gotta be prepared to put in the hard work and the determination to make it work here on YouTube. So yeah, basically, that's it for my get to know me new YouTuber tag. I'm not quite a new YouTuber, I've been on here for about five, six months now. But like I said before, I have a bit of a following that will probably be interested in watching this sort of video. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this sort of chatty video and I will definitely make more for you. I might do story time, I might do a chit chat get ready with me. So that's all I have to say in today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week, guys. So you can turn on the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are left as Guy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So, if you want to know a little bit more about me, then just keep on watching.